Hey, Steve. So we're here in Seminole on Temple Terrace. It's really not that far at all from where Marco was reporting earlier tonight. And you can see behind me here a pretty large portion of what I'm told once was a covered patio, a carport, and actually part of the roof of this house has now been blown over into the yard and the house next door. I spoke to the woman who lives in that house. She's doing okay. She's a little shaken up, but no one was hurt here. But again, whatever came through here managed to lift up her carport, a covered patio, and very much so part of her roof that now pushed that into the backyard and part of that actually pushing it into her neighbor's house. But I want you to look at this. There's almost an exact straight line from whatever touched down. It came directly through here. There's this long white fence here. All of these panels had been knocked out. We know that whatever came through, it came from that direction because some of the first damage, we were getting reports there was a mobile home park right down that way. It appears that it came pretty much just a, made a beeline, took out this fence, knocked out these panels, and then right across the street, hit into Melissa's house right there where, again, it took off that carport. Uh, that car, luckily, not very damaged. I think part of that is maybe sitting on the front, but the car looked okay. Uh, for the most part, the house inside is okay. And, of course, the best news of all, the people who were inside, Melissa, the homeowner, she says she is shaken up, but she's doing okay as well. I spoke to her earlier tonight. Let's listen in to what she had to say. What happened to your house? A tornado hit it. Yeah. Can you uh, well, I mean, no, I'm a little bit in shock. Um, but it had to happen to somebody. Nobody got hurt, so it's fine. I'll take care of it in the morning. So and the damage doesn't stop here. Seminole Fire telling us that uh, something continued on past this house. Again, pretty much in that beeline that we saw. And there was a house not too far away, a couple streets down on Valencia, that had a very large tree that was knocked into that house as well. Uh, obviously, kind of a greater impact. You can tell that power is out in this area. There was just a big Duke Energy truck that was here working on this line. They've since pulled away. Uh, but already, Duke Energy truck. Uh, trucks and crews are out here trying to establish the power. And of course, the best news, I did speak to the fire chief here in Seminole, and she told me uh, that despite the damage, despite the power outages, there have been no reports of any injuries in Seminole from this weather that happened here earlier tonight. Reporting live in Seminole, Victoria Price, 8 on your side.